everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. Today I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to be making something that I've been wanting to make for quite a long time. Uh, this is homemade yogurt. The only thing is, I don't have an instant pot and uh, I don't want, uh, don't want to use an instant pot and uh, like I don't want to go to the expense of uh, actually uh, buying one. So uh, I've been doing some research and, and searching on the web uh, quite a bit for um, a crock pot version or a non instant instant pot version. So uh, I've been lucky enough to have uh, like uh, four days off this this week uh, from work, which has been really nice because I've been able to get everything done. So this has been one of the things that I've been wanting to do. So join me and I'll show you how I'm doing it and uh, how simple and easy it'll be to make homemade, genuine homemade yogurt. Okay, so right now I've got my crock pot, I'm turning it on to high and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a full four liter jug of milk. Now this is uh, homogenized milk from the store. It's super chilled and it's um, really good uh, to use. You can, you can, you can use 1%, 2% skim milk, organic goat's milk. It doesn't matter. And according to this recipe, it's foolproof. So I'm just going to dump this in into my crock pot the whole thing because I love yogurt and I go through quite a lot of yogurt and I'm spending a lot of money so I'm just dumping the whole thing in and I've got it set to high and what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this for about three hours give or take because it just depends on on the, the individual crock pot so I've got it set on high and I'm gonna let it cook or heat actually for uh, about three hours until it reaches at least 180 degrees. Well, I've got my thermometer in here and it is reading 100, almost 180, so that should be good. So now what I'm gonna do is, it's been two hours actually. So, uh, like I said, it all depends on the type of uh, crock pot you have. Uh, we'll determine um, whether or not, um, what type of crock pot you have, we'll determine whether or not, uh, how quickly it's going to come up to temperature. So it's at 180, and it's about like 82 Celsius. So I'm going to shut it down, and it's going to cool for oh, a good two, three hours until it's Till it's about 110 and I'm gonna stick my trusty little thermometer in here and have a look see and see how how well it's it's doing and as you can see it's slowly making its way up but uh, yeah we're at the point where I can start uh, adding the culture I am going to add a quarter cup of plain ordinary yogurt. Now this yogurt you need to make sure as you can see it says live active cultures. That's what you want. You want to make sure that there are live active cultures in your yogurt when you add it to your to your warm milk. That temperature so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a quarter cup of my plain yogurt. Just put it in there and you don't want to overdo it you just add uh, the quarter cup uh, because uh, the bacteria, when uh, when it starts uh, doing its thing, it likes lots of room. So what I did was I just dropped it in there, and then I'm going to take uh, a whisk and just slowly stir, stir it in, and make sure that it's well incorporated. because we want it to uh, blend it well. And you're not going to you're not going to whip it around and, and stuff like that. Like you're not going to uh, whisk it or anything. You just want to gently stir it to break up 
all the lumps and the clumps from the yogurt that you added. Now that's the beauty of this particular recipe that I liked was the fact that I could just go uh, and buy uh, plain yogurt at the store instead of going out and buying all these fancy cultures and so forth that people uh, spend a, a lot of money on just to make yogurt when you could do this. And then once this is done, uh, then you can use, you just hold back, like, like it would be for kombucha. You would hold back a little bit of the uh, finished uh, yogurt for your next starter. So you'd probably save yourself about a half a cup, uh, half a cup to a cup, and uh, then you can make it uh, all over again with your very own yogurt instead of store-bought. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid back on and this is going to sit for about 8 to 12 hours. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up in a towel and stick it in my oven with the light on for about 8 to 12 hours. So in this case, it's, uh, it's only 7.30 here. So what I'll do is I'll leave it overnight. Uh, and when I wake up in the morning, it'll be 12 hours and it should be nice and tangy because you want to keep a, a, it as a consistent temperature. So you're not going to remove it from your crock pot itself. You're just going to wrap it up real good, leave it in the oven with the light on because that generates some heat and this will keep it warm over the night. Okay, so, oh, it's nice and warm. Smelling it. Okay, this is the test. Let's see how it is. It's nice and warm still. I'm just taking the towels off. Oh, and it's still nice and warm. Okay, so. What I need to do, so I need to take a look and see if it's ready. Well, okay, now my yogurt has been sitting for about two hours in my fridge to cool down and start setting up. And I'm going to see how well it's set up. So it's, it's a decent thickness. This is what I'm used to seeing uh, from store-bought as you can see. Oh, and it smells so good. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to strain a little bit and I'm going to put them into little individual mason jars. Or you can add, uh, like a, for me, being diabetic, uh, I'm going to be making a blueberry simple syrup, sort of like a jam consistency, like fruit on the bottom with, with this, to sweeten it. And it's going to be a no guilt uh, blueberry uh, concoction which is you just heat up a cup of blueberries with a quarter cup of water and smash it down. If you want to add uh, a little bit more sweetness you can add honey, you could add stevia or whatever sweetener, you know agave, whatever sweetener you want. And this is going to give me four liters of milk has given me like I'll have 16 250 mil jars filled with this so this is going to supply me for a few weeks and uh, that'll be great and then I just start over so I'm going to hold back about uh, 250 mils for the next batch uh, because it's uh, got the live activated cultures in it and uh, make it from there and make another batch. So I'm really excited that this is a, a real game changer for me so I'm uh, looking forward to it. 
Mmm. Just the right, right tang. It's just got a little bit of a nice tang to it. It's not overly tangy, which is not what I want. But you can use uh, this in recipes. You can use it in uh, use it as in place of sour cream. This is fantastic. So this is a game changer for me. So go out and make your own. You won't regret trying it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.